In 2020, there were 55 million Americans that are 65 and older. By 2030, it's estimated that there is going to be 75 million Americans that are going to be 65 and older. Do you know what that means? That means 10,000 people a day are turning 65. Now, I'd like to introduce you to my father. His name is Tom. Tom is 75 years old. And, you know, as we get older, things hurt a little bit more. A little harder to get up, a little harder to move around. That tends to put strain on the family because, you see, as a family, we are the caregiver. Now, my father, Tom, he's had cancer, not once, but twice. And you see, when dad goes for his cancer treatments and when he comes home from his chemo, I'm concerned. I'm concerned about his well-being. I mean, did dad get up? Is he eating? Is he taking his medication? God forbid. Did he fall? The problem is, is we just don't know. We're worried about our aging loved ones. And you can call them, but they're always going to say they're fine. I need more peace of mind. I'll admit, I put a camera in Dad's house. <laughs> and let me tell you, that lasted for 15 to 20 seconds. <laughs> Threw a dish towel right over it, and that was it. I know, cameras are intrusive. Nobody wants a camera looking at them. And the reality is, a lot of our aging loved ones are technologically adverse. They don't like technology. They don't want it. Keep it away from them. For example, my grandma, she's 96 years old. Now, if I went to grandma, and she tends to be a little set in her ways, if I went over to grandma and I'm like, I'm going to put a camera in grandma's condo, she would meet me at the door like that. <laughs> All right, I must admit, that's not my grandma. This is. Doesn't she look sweet? Don't let her fool you. You see, the problem is, when our loved ones go home and they close the door, it's a black hole of information. You have no idea what's going on. Sure, you give mom a call and say, hey, ma, how you doing? And you always get the, I'm fine. But there could be issues. I mean, does anybody know of somebody that had an issue in their home? Yeah. And nobody wants to be that person that falls or has an event, and nobody finds them for a couple of hours, might be a day or more. Did you know that one in four aging loved ones, 65 and older, will fall on their stairs? Over 230 thousand of our aging loved ones has a major event in their own home each and every year. 31% have an issue in their living room and 30% in their bedroom. We would love it if they could wear something, you know, a pendant or something, but we found out that if, it, if you can get them to wear it when they come home, they take it off because they believe that they're safe in their own home. And they should be. But as I said before, as we get older, things get a little harder. If there was only a way to be a fly on the wall. Now, there is. Because technology has come to a point between smart technology, machine learning, and artificial intelligence, we could take tiny, non-invasive sensors and place them discreetly around the home. And when I say tiny, I mean tiny. This is a quarter. This is a sensor. 
This is the most powerful sensor out there. And these sensors are looking at the habits of your loved one. We all have habits, right? I'm sure this morning you got up, clearly you're here. <laughs> you went to the bathroom, you got something to eat. Maybe you made your coffee, your tea. You went in front of the TV or you tapped on the computer. And you know as well as I do, habits are hard to break. Have you ever tried changing the habit of an 85-year-old? <laughs> Not going to happen. But when habits do change, there's a wealth of information that you can find out from that. And by having tiny non-invasive sensors placed discreetly around the home, you can start finding out things. Not only will you find out things like, did mom get up, but what time did mom get up? Is mom eating enough? Is she going to the bathroom? Is she taking a shower? Because hygiene is really important. How about, is your loved one drinking enough? Did you know that dehydration is the number one precursor to a fall? Yeah. Is she taking her medication? Is she taking it at the right time? And of course, did she fall? But more importantly, where? Did she fall? Now, that's all well and fine, but let's talk about more complex situations. All of this information is actually sent to an app that resides on your phone in the palm of your hand. We had a user that told us a wonderful story about their loved one. And what had happened was is their mom goes to the bathroom on average once a night. She'll get up in the middle of the night, go to the bathroom. That's fine, green check mark. But all of a sudden, she starts getting up two and three times a night. Hmm, what's going on? So she gives mom a call. Hey mom, how are you doing? What do you think mom said? That's right, but she was in the know. Oh yeah, that's great. So, um, I see that you were up a couple of times last night. Now, let me tell you, this lady's mom is from the Northeast, so she literally comes and says, I can't stop peeing. Okay. Well, how about if I stop by, pick you up, we'll go to the minute clinic, see what's going on. Drives her to the minute clinic, doctor takes a look, yep, gives her some medication. Did you know that this is actually a three-part problem? Part number one, mom is clearly going to the bathroom more than normal. Part number two, got mom medication. Is she taking the medication? Very important. Part number three is arguably the most important part of this. If you know that she's going to the bathroom too much, and you know that she's taking her medication, are we getting the expected results? Or is mom sitting around more because she's lethargic? Or what if mom isn't eating as much because she doesn't have any appetite anymore? That's how amazing technology is nowadays. All of this information, if, if something is amiss, it literally comes into the palm of your hand, so you will be in the know. But imagine, imagine this. Imagine if by the habits of our loved one, we can tell if they have early on stage dementia. Imagine a world that we could tell if somebody has non-24, where they're up at night and sleeping during the day. Imagine if we could tell just from their environment and their habits if they're having psychological issues, if they have depression because they're not opening up the curtains during the day. Imagine if we could tell if mom is having eyesight issues because she's leaving the lights on at night, not because she forgets, but because she doesn't want to fall when she gets up to go to the bathroom. Imagine a world that we can actually help our aging loved ones live a better life. Imagine no more. 
because that time is here. With the advent of smart technology, we can actually use this and AI to enable our loved ones to stay home and be independent with the dignity that they deserve while giving you the peace of mind that you need. On top of reducing healthcare costs across the board. You see, mom wants to stay home. That's maybe where she raised you. Maybe that's where other family is, friends, community. So why don't we do that? I truly believe worldwide, everybody has somebody that they love and care about, and they want to make sure that they're okay. And with your help, we can do this. Now, back to my father. Tom is tough as nails. And I'd like to tell you that he is doing just fine. Thank you. Thank you.